I've been playing Total Warhammer for quite a while, but I still see a lot of players make this beginner mistake. You can see Albrecht Bordeloo is here, super separated from his main formation, but he dares to dive down onto the Skull Crushers of Korn. Now he is truly isolated, and the Skull Crushers are tearing him apart. You might think that, hey, Albrecht on his Hippogriff has enough mass and speed to push through the enemy formations and get back to safety. But the thing is, you don't know if your opponent can pull off some surprising maneuvers to keep your flyer down on the ground. Just like here, Scabran is coming in with a steel chair bitch slap Albrecht in the face. The damage is secondary here because Scabran's main goal is to activate Rage and Bodied, induce Rampage on Albrecht or Bodilu, forcing him to stay in combat. And because Albrecht ventured out alone, there is nothing the rest of his army can do to help. The peasants are sitting back watching their lord getting slaughtered while the knights desperately trying to jump in and save their leashed lord. Unfortunately, Bretonia's rescue efforts have been pushed off and Albrecht was left alone to die. So yeah, a very basic thing to bear in mind, never ever leave your lord alone, always make sure they are supported by certain elements of your army, even if you have to throw them into the middle of your opponent's formations, make sure you have something to keep them alive and drag them out of the mess, for example healing spells or other troops to screen out enemy units. 